Okay, now let's do the same in Pro Tools. I have an empty session loaded up. Let's add a new software instrument track. I'll make it a stereo one. And in the insert section, I'll add the expand to synth. I'm just going to load a preset. So let's say maybe in the huge pad section, I'll choose the Octosaw preset. I already have my MIDI controller connected, so it should be able to play the synth. Okay, sounds good. Let's now record a short progression. But before that, I will need a click track. So let's create one. And let's also enable the two measure count off. Okay, so I can now record. That sounds good. I'll just trim the clip so it's exactly four measures and loop playback. All right, now for the kick drum, I'll import that same sample I used previously. So I'll click add. And I want it on a new track, so I leave it to that option and hit OK. Now just like in Logic, you can option drag the clip over to copy it. Again, I want to add a faster rate, so I'll select all clips and option drag it over. Now this doesn't work as the previous clips get replaced. There's another way to do this in Pro Tools. I'll undo that. If we set the grabber tool to object grabber and reselect those clips, we have now only selected the clips and not the gaps between them. So option dragging this time does not replace the previous clips. All right, let's have a listen. Now we need to insert a compressor on the synth pad track. I'll just choose the built-in compressor. And we need to select a key input from here that will be used to trigger the compressor, just like in Logic. But we only have the option for bus and interface. We can't seem to select the kick audio track here. It's not an issue, we'll just use the bus instead. First on the kick track, in the send section, choose a bus. Now there's mono as well as stereo buses. So since the kick track is a stereo one, you could use the stereo bus. This is the channel strip for the bus we just created. Let's option click to set the fader all the way to 0 dB. Also let's set this bus to pre-fader mode by clicking here. This will ensure that the bus sends out the signal irrespective of the kick track's volume fader position. Let's go back to the compressor and choose this bus in the key input. But as you can see, the compressor only accepts mono buses. That's not a problem. You can just change the bus to a mono one and select it. Now you'll notice that the compressor is working, but it's not creating that pumping effect. That's because side chaining has not been enabled yet. Clicking here will enable it. And as you can hear, it's working now. Since we set the bus to pre-fader, bringing down the volume of the kick drum does not affect the pumping. So that's pumping via sidechain compression in Pro Tools.